Hey and welcome back to the revolution and some more WWE2K20 news as earlier today 2K and Up Up Down Down released the official trailer for this year's My Career and I for one have to say I absolutely love it. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE2K20 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of today's news and so much more. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at today's awesome trailer. We never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves. But if I've learned anything, it's that nothing is truly unattainable. Congrats on the Hall of Fame. We were just telling Pac all about how we got started. We're going to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. Say I'm crazy, but I really think I don't care. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Well, I'm ready for people to know who I am. I'm with you through good and bad. We're a package deal. Package deal. You have to be realistic. Look, I will make it. It's on our list. In this business, there's only one surefire way to cement your legacy and become immortal. The Reaper is waiting to drag you through the fires of hell. Yes! The ocean of reincarnation! Come out here and accept my challenge. If you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. You just risked everything for me. Show them why you belong here. Hey! If you want to keep running your mouth, then come over here and do it to my face! <gasps> You can't recast me. What happens next? Other than Trey running for his life, I have no idea. That trophy could be ours. Don't hold back. I never do. I respect your loyalty. That goes a long way in this business. This isn't over. I don't know about you, but I am honestly so, so excited to play this year's My Career, even more so the fact that we finally get to play as a woman. There is so much to take away from the trailer, so let's take a closer look, just in case there's anything you might have missed. As the trailer starts out, we get to see our female character participate in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match before being aided to victory by her male counterpart. From what we can see, the scene looks to confirm Charlotte Flair for the match, as well as Zelina Vega, who looks to be playable for the first time ever. Following that, we skip ahead of time to the Brother and Sister Hall of Fame induction, which will likely close out the My Career mode in this year's mode, before discussing their Hall of Fame career with X-Pac and Lita. Now, while Lita's Hall of Fame attire is pretty awesome, I will say that I'm rather good that Lita yet again has the same model, especially when we see X-Pac returning to the series with a brand new updated model. Regardless, we do get some voiceover from Lita, which somehow softens the blow. As the pair reminisce about their WWE career, we jump back to the days before their WWE career with a really cute look at their professional wrestling dream goals, which includes starring in their own WWE movie, coming up with an awesome wrestling name, teaming up with Mickey James, getting their own action figure, competing in NXT, winning a dance-off, <laughs> wrestling later, finding out what's in Undertaker's urn, and finally being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Now that doesn't mean we'll necessarily cross off all of our goals in the game, but I dare say that it's pretty likely we'll at least cross a majority off, especially given that most of those achievements can be accomplished as part of exhibition. Plus, I don't know about you, but I certainly want to take a detour and find out what's in Undertaker's urn. Interestingly, we also get a look at our character's newer Trish Stratus t-shirt, which could indicate another updated version of Trish Stratus after last year's revamp. As we move on, we see our superstars competing on Monday Night Raw, as well as a spot for our female character at the all-women's pay-per-view evolution, before once again quite literally taking a trip down memory lane. The trailer confirms that the ice arena is seen in last week's gameplay trailer is in fact part of this year's My Career, with the arena being the 20th annual Winterfest of 2015. As pointed out by Smack Talks previously, it looks as though the game will feature weather elements with snow adorning the arena while falling from the sky on the surrounding fans. Interestingly, the focus switches to a scene in which the pair looks set to meet Hall of Famer Bret Hart before competing in the high school gym arena. 
In a touching moment, the pair bond over their struggles in the wrestling industry before vowing to make it to the big stage. The scenes also give it a very quick look at Rhea Ripley's model in 2K20 as the former NXT UK champion makes her official debut as part of the series. Moving on, the trailer takes a darker tone as we venture into the dreaded unknown with a look at the WWE boiler room and the amazing revamp of the Wyatt compound from last year's game. We also get another look at that seriously epic lava arena from last week as the Undertaker and Kane make a cameo appearance before traversing what looks to be the lake of reincarnation with the ever broken Matt Hardy. As we return to reality, we get a very quick glimpse of Lana's model for this year's game which looks to be identical to last year's edition, all bar a brand new hairstyle. We then head into a rather interesting cutscene which seems to hint at a United Kingdom faction consisting of a heel Becky Lynch, Finn Balor, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus and Pete Dunne. The faction surround the ring as Becky Lynch comes face to face with our female superstar before beating a title opportunity out of our WWE rookie. Things seem to continue to take a downward spiral for an unlikely duo with what looks to be a squabble between the pair, featuring a very quick glimpse of Stephanie McMahon in the background and what looks to be another brand new dress for this year, along with the one we've already seen on later earlier in the trailer. We also get a very quick look at the Mae Young Classic Trophy, which could confirm the tournament for my career as well as the exhibition. In a slurry of cutscenes, our female superstar looks to embrace the badassery as we see her set an open challenge to a mystery superstar before throwing a female superstar into the stage and stepping up to Stephanie McMahon. It's hard to tell which superstar is thrown headfirst into the stage, but given the sporting ponytail, my guessing would be that it's either Sonya Deville or Bailey who takes the beating. The scenes also confirm the Australian Super Showdown Arena, as well as a possible new weapon which looks to be a paddle, much to the dismay of the Iconics, who take a serious ass whooping. <laughs> The scene also confirms the achieved goal of teaming with Mickey James in my career along with her Royal Rumble attire from 2018. Speaking of goals, it looks as though we could very well see our superstars feature in their very own movie thanks to a throwaway line from The Miz who is furious about being recast in some sort of WWE role. Things then take another interesting turn with another brand new arena in the style of the new day. I have to say, I bloody love how over the top and ridiculous this arena is, and I honestly can't wait to see how it looks when we take it to the ring. I also really, really hope we get some sort of unique OMG moment or a cutscene utilizing maybe the unicorn, nothing perverse, or even the pancakes at ringside. As we once again return to reality, things seem to improve for our duo as they come back together to take on Miz and Maurice in mixed tag team action, once again confirming Maurice as a playable character, albeit a duplicate of last year's model. As we close out the female aspects of the trailer, our female superstar takes a kick to the gut from a seriously badass looking version of Rhea Ripley, with the May Young Classic trophy once again taking focus. Honestly, I really don't know about you, but I am super, super stoked to play my career this year. And while I wish the focus was purely on a solo women's version of my career alongside the men, I will happily take up what 2K is offering, and I really can't wait to experience every last little moment. While there's nothing too new confirmed in regards to the women's roster, we do get a quick look at some of the models, with Rhea Ripley's model especially blowing me completely away. It's also awesome to see 2K finally bring in some more women's animations and cutscenes to 2K20 because, let's face it, the last few years have been completely abysmal when it comes to the female cutscenes and we all love to hate those male cutscenes where the females look completely butch and so out of character. Seriously, I am so hyped for 2K20 and I hope there is something in today's trailer that gets you just as excited as I am because we're only a few short weeks away and we finally have something that so many of us have been asking for for years. If you are a fan of today's trailer, let me know in the comments below and let me know which was your favourite moment. Alternatively, if you aren't impressed with the trailer, let me know why and let me know what you think 2K could improve on. If you've enjoyed our breakdown, please leave a comment or like below as it really does help us over on the channel. Also, if you have a spare moment, head on over to our official website revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of today's news as well as all of our previous 2K20 news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I hope you have a wonderful day.